Are these the world's most crispy fries? Let's find out. So a couple days ago, I made a late night impulse decision to buy a burger and fries. And I got it from a place that I've heard about. It's a pretty popular burger joint around here. I've been recommended it before, but I never really trusted it because I don't think I trusted the person who recommended it. You never, you know what I'm saying? You, you never know. But um, the burger was okay. The fries blew my mind. These right here. They were the most crispy and delicious fries that I've had in a long minute. Definitely in Korea. Uh, by far the best fries and maybe the best fries I've ever had. I don't know. They were just so crispy and when, with delivery especially, the fries can get real soggy on you. I was just so perplexed by them that I just had to make a video about them. Now, I'll be real salty if these aren't crispy. This is the second time I've had. I haven't tried one. I haven't touched them. I just poured them out. Uh, they're smelling good. They're looking good. Will they be crispy? I hope so or else my brain will be fried. But uh, yeah, these fries are looking good. Got some ketchup here. This right here cost about $3.50. Um, but that's not all I have. I have a couple more little secrets that I will reveal here in a minute. Let me just try out these fries r real quick because, I don't know, I feel like these will hold up over time if they survive the delivery. Um, they must have some kind of secret scientific formula. I don't, I don't know about it, but let's just try it. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah, no, these feel crispy. Let's try it. Um, let me give you a quick little close up of them. I mean, it's not a, it's not a whole lot of them, but I'd rather have some good quality fries. This is like the anti five guys right here. They're looking like golden little delicious sticks. Yep. Yep. There it is right there. There it is. That, that crispiness. But they're not just crispy, they're delicious. Perfectly seasoned. Sometimes you get them under seasoned, sometimes you get them over seasoned. At the end of this video, I might have to give a shout out to the actual place because if you're ever around here, you might want to pick these up. Ah, bit my finger. Hopefully you can hear. Let me give me, let me get a little quick uh, mic action. And remember, these have been sitting in this little uh, Chinese delivery box. When I opened it, I saw the condensation dissipate. So I know there's condensation in there. I feel like this is something that Adam Ragusea has done before. Best fries I've had in 10 years. And I'm looking for some answers. Maybe I'm supposed to give you all the answers, but right now I'm looking for some answers. I'll give you another close up. If you can see like, what are they doing to these fries to make them so crispy? And not only, like you can have a crispy fry, sure. But usually they'll lose crispness very fast, especially when you close them in a box. This might be about as good of a close up as I can give you. You can see they're not very smooth. You know, they have some rough parts around the edges. I don't taste any like weird additives. I have a couple theories on what they're doing, but you know, I'm not sure. Like if you know, if you're in the restaurant biz, You know, leave the answer down below. My theories are, for one, everyone talks about the double fry. So you fry them like halfway, take them out, and then fry them again to finish them off. And I think that's a famous like Belgian technique.
But even with those, I've heard that you got to eat them right away. These, you don't. You can just let them, leave them be chilling. Uh, my other theory which I don't know where I heard this I heard this somewhere with wings yeah J. Kenji Lopez Alter somebody they're like if you want to get some crispy wings in the oven you don't need a deep fryer you put like baking soda on them and like mix that in and it will make it more crispy and I think people do that with, with potatoes as well I'm thinking there's some kind of combination with the double fry and the baking soda but I don't know like I've encountered this style of crispy fries uh maybe three times in my life I'm pretty sure a spot called the bagel in Chicago had fries like this and maybe the gizmo I might be tripping about the gizmo which y'all don't even know want to know about that but um uh, yeah, no, nah, these are like next level. So let me show you what else I got right here. Uh, I got a couple other orders of what I'll just call like sloppy fries, I guess. <clears throat> so one of them is supposed to have cheese sauce and bacon. And the other one is supposed to have some kind of burger sauce, maybe animal style sauce or something. I don't know. But bacon and avocados on that as well. So let me get a couple plates up here. I can't remember the exact price for these, but the whole order came out to about 16 bucks. So, these right here look to be seasoned, and they're look, there's looking like some good bacon up in here. Obviously, there's no sauce in these, but I have sauce on the side. I wasn't sure if they were going to put sauce in these. This is my first time seeing these. I didn't know if they were going to put the sauce right in and then give me extras on the sides or just or what were they going to do. But yeah, here we go. Here's the other kind. I mean, they're looking kind of similar, except this one has avocado. Now, what I think you're supposed to do with the one with avocado is put this sauce right here, the kind of burger sauce, maybe. Yeah, it smells like some burger sauce. And, and I don't know what this is. This wasn't in the description. Sour cream. I'll keep that aside for now. Now with these, you're just supposed to put the uh, cheese sauce on these. And this is where the test really gets uh, interesting because, yeah, I mean fries that uh, are just plain fries, have a better chance of holding up but when it comes down to the fries that are loaded loaded fries sloppy fries yeah whatever you want to call them can they hold up under the scrutiny of the sauce and the toppings let me just yeah uh should i just go ahead and i don't know let me divvy out this sour cream i just want to get these extra saucy as saucy as possible and again y'all saw these they were sitting in those boxes well you didn't see them they were off camera but they were sitting in the boxes unopened I didn't do the best job of presenting these let me make these a little bit prettier some of that avocado up in here some of that baked home so here is the uh, avocado with some burger sauce I think some sour cream cheese sauce bacon some sour cream let me let me try it for our Still crispy. And good, man. Like, I'll tell you what, man. You might be thinking, oh, I like fries that are like crispy but not crunchy. Like, these aren't crunchy. I feel like if a fry gets too crunchy, it turns into like a snack. It turns into something that you that you would eat out of a like a bag at, you get from the, the gas station. You know, these are like fries, like restaurant fries, the taste, the texture, everything. They're just super crispy. Mm. Oh, yeah.
They're holding up to the scrutiny, man. Wow. These are delicious. Sour cream and fries. I don't recall if I've had sour cream on fries before, but like we put sour cream on baked potato uh, and it's just good. That's a combo. That is a great combo. Good little piece of bacon. The fries are crispier than the bacon though. Yeah. That was some bacon bites right there. Good flavor, not crispy. There's fries on the other hand. Let me get some avocado. Let me go in for a middle bite. So this is like, gonna be saucy. This is a saucy bite. I'm not gonna bother with too many close-ups. I'm just in the zone trying to eat these. What's up with these, man? That's, this is good. This is good. Mm. That burger sauce adds some sweetness to it. Um, I like the avocado. Personally, I probably would have gone with... Um, If I could have put the, the avocado, taken out the avocado on this and put it on that. So I don't need the burger sauce. It's a little bit too sweet for me. <clears throat> but that would be a combo right there with the cheese sauce, the bacon, and the, the avocado. Wow. Mm. And the sour cream. So yeah, like, what's up with like freaking Five Guys, man? In and out. All these huge fast food giants that can't nail a fry, you know? Maybe some people like them. I guess, you know, some people do like their fries. <clears throat> some people like soggy fries. So people have weird tastes, you know. Uh, I know somebody who likes soggy fries. I've, I never really imagined that to be possible. I've met one person in real life. I've heard about it online. People say it. But I've only met one person who likes soggy fries. And uh, in my, all of my life, I've only met one person who doesn't like fries. So it's a different person. That person is... Maybe if they tried these fries, it would change their mind. Yeah, like, and especially if you're doing some kind of like, some kind of uh, loaded fries like this. These are the perfect fries, like, unless you want some just soft, like mushy fries, man. What's the secret? I would be willing to bet that if I just took that regular order of fries, put it on that plate, and let it sit for an hour, they would still be crispy. And, you know, I don't know how well you're hearing this.
but I'm hearing it. It's the high frequencies right in my ear. The bacon is making it like chewy. Some kind of like alternate universe type of situation I'm, I'm in right now. Chewy bacon. Hmm. I don't know if I can give him props for that chewy bacon. But I'm sure some people watching know what this place is or have a good guess. And you might be right. You might be wrong, though. I don't know. But, yeah, that was crazy. Oh, what else can I say? I mean, hopefully the, the audio spoke for itself right there. If it's bogus audio, then I'm going to be salty again once I'm ed editing this. But, you know. I, I just believe me guys this is these are like top-notch fries restaurants burger places learn about this man go back into the lab and develop these crispy fries i'll give you a couple ideas the double fry and possibly the baking soda but other than that i can't really help you but yeah <clears throat> that's it right there that's uh, some very crispy fries delicious fries crispiest fries i may have ever done have Really enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!